Hello YouTube and welcome to another edition of Three Things You Need to Know. I wanted to have like a theme song but I couldn't think of one. I kind of wanted one like Priceline. Priceline Negotiator. So I'm like, three things you need to know. Mm, sorry, real random. Well, anyways, today's episode is about a subject that hits very close to home, literally, and that is the influenza, AKA the flu. Yes, it hits very close to home because currently my wife, Shantae, has it. So I thought in case any of you out there have the flu or know of someone that does, it would be good for you to have some tips on what you can do to get over it quickly. Well, thank you, Mr. Shaper Film. I could really use those tips. Where's that coming from? Hey, I'm down here. Oh. Right here. Well, hey there, little guy. Yeah, I could use these tips because I, too, like your baby Bubba, I have the flu. <coughs> oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that you're sick. Me, too. Well, here you go, buddy. Well, thanks, big guy. I could really use this. No problem. Just go ahead, sit back, relax, and listen to these tips that will probably be able to help you. Okay? Okay. Let me find my spot. All right. Now, where was I before I was interrupted by this little man? Hey! Yes, you've heard it before, but I'll tell you again. And that is, when you have the flu, it is important that you stay hydrated. Yes, hydration is very important because the flu usually brings dehydration. So drinking a good amount of water is a crucial part of your recovery. What if you get tired of water? I'm so sick of this water, I don't even want to get up to drink it. Well, that's where juice comes in. Broth, lemon water, and herbal teas. But what you don't want to indulge in, now listen up, is caffeine or alcohol. Well, why not? Well, the reason is because drinks containing caffeine or alcohol act as a diuretic. A diuretic? Well, a diuretic is something that makes you go number one, which actually increases the degree of dehydration. So go ahead and make sure you fill that big gulp up with water. Hey guys. Oh, big gulps, huh? All right. Well, see you later. Just say do not. Use steam. One of the worst things about having the flu is having sinus and nasal congestion. It gets all stuffy in there. Yes, if you're dealing with that, using steam can bring you some relief. I don't like steam. It fogs up my glasses. You see, the heat of the steam, it loosens the mucus while the moisture helps to relieve dry nasal passages. Learned it from Google. So what can you do? So here's two ways you can get steam to work for you. One, try hot shower or bath. Yes, this is a good way to clear up that congestion much quicker. Turn the water on as hot as you can stand it. Close the door and let that steam build up and let that go ahead and get into your nasal passages. Yes, of course, if the heat has you feeling a little dizzy or weak, just go ahead and stop it. Open up that door and let that steam out. You got it, dude. What you can also do is use steam by filling up your bathroom sink with some hot water and place your face right over it. Drape a towel over your head to keep the steam in, like so. See, if you do it like this, the steam just goes in and it doesn't leave. Got it? And another good thing about having no congestion is it's easier to laugh. <laughs> is that how I sound because I'm congested? <laughs> just say do laugh. And last but not least, we have tip number three. One of the most important tips, and that is Rest as much as possible. When you're sick, your body works hard to get better. This drains all of your energy from your body, meaning you will be more tired than usual. So good news, go ahead and sleep in. Take a nap whenever you feel tired. And take time off work or school so that you can get adequate rest. And families, don't wake your sick loved one up. Let them sleep. They need it. Come on, Bob. Come on. Bob. Bob. Bob? 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 
Bob! Oh! Hi. <laughs> Just saved your life. So there you have it. Three tips that can help you or your loved one get over the flu. So thank you for watching. Have a great day. And we'll see you until next video. And go ahead and say bye to the little man. Bye, guys. And I have a name. It's not just Little Man. My name's Jerry. Just saved your life. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope none of you guys out there have the influenza disease, aka the flu. Uh, but whether you do or not, I know something that will bring a little joy to your life, and that's if you press the subscribe button right there. Yeah, go ahead and click it. Uh, and also, uh, if the flu gave you a bad back, click on the video below, because that video helps you to see what you can do to help a sore back out. Okay? So again, new videos coming soon. Appreciate the support, and tell your friend or family about me.